All right, I'm live. Hello. All right, so I'm doing something a little different today, so I'm going to let people come in. I am doing a choose the content of this evening because I have a couple of things I want to do, but I thought, you know, it's Saturday night. If y'all going to party with me, we you all should help choose the content for the night. So um, we'll see if people wind up coming in. It is Saturday night. The world is semi, is pretty much open and people are, you know, feeling the need to do. Hey, Diana, feeling the need to go out there and be out in these Rona streets. <sighs> Not I. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. So, yeah. Um, so I've decided to let you all help choose the content hey michelle um please folks it's in these streets now we're we gonna have a whole conversation about these wrong streets and how people are in them um yeah but you know people's in these streets now so anyway here are the two contents that we can talk about today hi hi girl you you and uh, Amazon is a is a is in a poly relationship with a lot of us. Amazon is having a poly relationship with all of us. Okay, so here are the two topics we could talk about tonight. We could talk about overhyped, underhyped, and worth the hype perfume fragrances, or we can talk about fragrances I plan to declutter. Because that's right, I'm gonna get rid of some. So tell me which ones you all want to see. Give me that, and then we will just then I will go from there. Those are the two contents I was thinking about doing. So you know, there we go. Overhyped, underhyped, and worth the hype or fragrances I'm gonna declutter. What's that in my hair? Oh, my hair. What I got from Amazon, everything. You know, listen. You know it's rough out here in these streets and you start buying bras from Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Hyped, okay. Now I'm just like, you know now, I do not have anything with me. I guess I could, yeah, I could. Oh, okay, what I what I got, okay. Okay, so what, what we wanna see? Overhyped, underhyped, overhyped, the hyped crew or what I'm planning on decluttering. give y'all a couple of more get take a few more votes on this and then we will go to it so far i got i got hyped what i got what i got what i got what is for hypes under hype and worth the hype right okay sarah is says declutter you want both okay well i'm gonna do them both it's just one is gonna be done tonight the other one will be done another day right okay so i got declutter declutter so I got declutter, declutter, declutter. I got three declutters. I got one, two hype. So three to two so far. Declutter is winning out. Declutter is winning out. Now let me tell you, declutter is gonna take. It's gonna be shorter. Okay, declutter. Let me let y'all know as y'all make these these decisions. Declutter will be a shorter live than the overhyped, underhyped, and worth the hype. So I'm just letting y'all know. Whichever one. So if I declutter, I don't have a whole lot to declutter, not that many fragrances, we will be done with that. So I'm letting y'all know. So y'all going for declutter, we're going to be done in about 20 minutes. Does that change any votes? Right. Hi, Kelly K. Thank you. Um, yes, we are. My emotional support kitten. Hi, Amina. Shouldn't you be asleep? All right, so right, declutter is gonna take like that long. It, it, I have I have some, but I don't have a lot. I'm still gonna show that, Michelle. I'm still gonna do the declutter. It's just what I'm doing tonight. The declutter is gonna happen. So if y'all want to wait on the declutter, um, do a makeup declutter. Sarah, I don't do too many. You know what? Honestly, I haven't bought that much this year. I'm doing my makeup is taking a backseat to the perfume. So my declutter, and I did most of my declutter last year. I really haven't added anything, you know, a lot in to like declutter. 
I might be I'm gonna be decluttering brushes soon as I you know go into the like expensive sweaty wang brushes okay okay so do y'all okay now here's going once going twice declutter or the hype train because declutter is going to is going to be short hype we could sit here for a while because I got a whole list of stuff from on that right yes I changed my hair I did two strands twist and they came out pretty good because I washed it and conditioned it okay I just want to make sure because you know this Saturday night I could be out for here in 20 minutes or we could be here for an hour it's up to y'all okay 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 thank you Michelle thank you I think they came out cute because normally mine don't come out this good so I think I'm gonna be wearing these two strand twists now. I kind of like them. They came out good. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself and my hair issues. Okay, let's go. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not doing. No, I don't have that much time because I got to get back and start working. Um, how about declaring my face? I I ain't thought through faves yet. Nah, we can't do faves right now. Nope, can't do that one. I can't. I cannot do that one. See, I already made a list for the overhyped and stuff. So I'm good there. Favorites, not so good on. All right, so declutter. That's what we're doing because I, I kind of like the hype train on a Saturday night because the hype train will be fun and more interesting than the de well, the declutter list will be uh, the same one. This is um, the same one, the honey, because I like it for stuff like this because it, it, it holds my hair down. It holds my hair down. Okay, so we're going to go with the hype train. I promise y'all we're going to do declutter this week, though, because I'm looking at some shit and this guy's to go. So we will be doing the declutter this week. It'll be a quick day because I start teaching summer school on Monday and I got to really teach these. No, I'm just joking. Uh, I'm going to be... Um, uh, grading and things so I would pop in do the declutter and pop right out and go back to work because I got it really I'm teaching algebra I'm drinking I'm teaching algebra and geometry I don't have many geometry kids though so and I'm only going to teach them geometry for the SAT because I got four weeks I think it's raining outside you might want to but some of them um some of them, is, they just need to be decluttered. I'm just being honest. Some of them, I don't, okay, well, okay, we'll talk about it during the declutter. Okay, so let's go. We're going to go with the overhyped first. We're going to get them out the way because it's not a lot of them. Um, I'm only good at geometry because I had to learn to teach it. Okay, okay. So let me start with the first one. That is no longer here because I only got a couple of things to talk about on the overhyped train. So I'm gonna go overhyped, worth the hype, and then underhyped. Yeah. Now I love algebra. Okay, so let's just talk about the first thing on the overhyped train. Uh back rock rouge 540. Now you know I have a whole unpopular opinion live on that. Back rock rouge 540 smells terrible on me. Um, you know, I it smells good when I spray it on paper, when I spray it in the air. It smells like everybody says it does. However, on my skin, it smells like urinal cake. It smells like it doesn't. It's it's got this metallic-y, heavy. It ha, it's just terrible. It's just terrible. So with Baccarat Rouge 540, a lot of the dupes because the dupes. Hey Tammy, the dupes did not do anything for me. You know, the Ariana Grande cloud, it just didn't smell that good on me. Um, the sunset, right, sunset, all, whatever they call it, all right, it's sunset, I don't know what it's called. That one didn't smell good on me. Instant Crush was too masculine on my, um, around the way girl, hey, how are you? Um, I haven't tried that, and that's what, and I won't, because it's hyped up so much. Um, you're new around the way, thank you for coming in. I'm like, eh. Eh? It's like, eh? So none of those worked for me. And and to be quite honest, only because those came up, oh, Burberry Her didn't smell all that great to me. It was like, whatever. Um, 
the one thing I will say is that um, it was just like whatever. So no, Black Rock Rouge 540. And every time I see somebody talking about it, I be like, oh, here we go again with this bullshit. It's just a word of messing. And I'm not mad at them. It's just, it don't work for me. So there we have it. And all those dupes. And then let me tell you something about dupes. Dupes are unplanned for me. I am not looking for dupes. I am not spending my money trying to find the dupes to share. I'm just being honest with y'all. Right. 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 So it's like. I like it enough, you know, I'm not here to like purchase a bunch of things to find a dupe for something. Just so y'all know, if it winds up being in my collection and something does smell similar to something, I will let you know. Um, I tried Midnight Oud and I wasn't that impressed by it, so I haven't really bothered with anything else. Um, and Coco Pebs, Pebs has a whole video about a lot of their stuff and she said they didn't last that long and everything. So... They say not a not a perfume is good for layering. That's about all I hear about it. That's what you know. Um, so anyway, that's that. That the BR five forty and all the clones that the dupes that everybody talks about the Ariana Grande Cloud Instant Crush, um, the Saints All Saints Sunset Riot whatever it's called and Burberry Her. None of them were that great to me. Um, right, see there we go. There we go. Talk about this. Now here's this one and it's a new one. Now, I'm gonna preface this by saying, I am wearing one of my favorites, which is the Tropical Shine by Milani. Lalique Soleil. Now, let me tell you why I'm saying it's overhyped. Now, I am a female, I'm, I'm, a, I'm on a, you know, I'm, I'm feminine. I'm a girl. So I want, you know, I'm talking from the girl side of the fragrance um, community because men, of course, are not talking about Lalique Soleil. But, you know, um, the bottle is beautiful. Now, let me say what the, the fragrance is nice. Don't get me wrong. It's a very pretty fragrance, but it's just not. Um, but it's not everything that everybody says. Hi, Nene. Hello. How are you? Welcome. It's just not everything that everybody says it is. Um, you see, they got bells now. You can hear them coming. Um, so it's just like, oh, okay. It's a pretty fragrance. It really is. I paid too much for it because it wasn't worth the money. I don't think it's worth what it's going for right now. I should have waited till it. What the hell are y'all doing? Ah, get off of that. Okay, they come to the other one. So I just don't, I don't think it's worth the money that it's going for right now because it's new. I wish I would have waited until it really hit aftermarket. Um, and it was, you know, it would, I would have really liked it if it was about $50. I'd be mean, like, oh, this is a really pretty $50 fragrance at a hundred and some dollars. Hi, Chilling with Byron, how are you? It ain't worth it. I'm just being honest. Do not pay, even what you can get it on Fragrance X, Fragrance Net, do not pay for the pricing that it is now. Over $100, it's not worth it. it it's a beautiful fragrance. It doesn't last that long. It becomes, you know, it doesn't project out that much. It's, it doesn't last that long on the skin. It's, it's, it's okay. I like it. I don't love it. And, you know, it's like this is the one that everybody's been talking about on the on the female side of the Fragcom. Oh, my God, for the summertime, Lalique Soleil, Lalique Soleil. Mm, okay. Okay. That's all, that's all I'm going to say is okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so that's all I got for it. And, you know... And, may, and maybe perhaps also I was just not as impressed because the hype was out there. But no, nah, because it, 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 it's just like, oh, okay. It didn't make me feel like Vanilla exclusive or nothing like that. Okay, so here we go. That's that. Now let's go with worth the hype and then we're going to get into under hype because I got a whole lot of under hype for us. All right, so worth the hype. Let me get started. Let me get my little notes up here so I can see them all. Okay, so, worth the hype. 
let's go I'm gonna start here because I can grab these quick LaBelle this is Gautier's LaBelle this is beautiful it's pear it's vanilla it's vetiver it's not a lot going on but it is a beautiful fragrance I I think it's it's it I adore it it's so pretty you know it really is worth the hype you know it is it's nothing groundbreaking but it's so sexy it's just got this sexiness to it it's just you gonna smell good you're gonna smell good <laughs> wearing this this is definitely a, um, a, a good one for dates because you're gonna smell beautiful and you're not gonna smell too much this is this is you know one of those not too much fragrances but still sexy all right another one that is worth the hype because it's on the hype train now everybody's talking about it i keep seeing the ladies talking about it and that is dolce garden dolce garden now dolce garden is interesting because you would think that it was going to be very floral but the real but honestly the strongest note in here is the coconut so this is a coconut lovely bomb so if you you know i will say and i found i accident but i got this before the hype got real because I accidentally sprayed it on an Ulta when Ulta was still open. And I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. Now, would I pay full price? Hell no. But at the price you can get it at, it's awesome. Awesome. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I got it early. And then all of a sudden, everybody's like, oh, don't shake garden, don't shake garden. But you know, I ain't, I'm not, I'm not popular, so don't nobody know I was talking about it. Just like all of a sudden, Jasmine Wisp is pop, semi-popular. I've been talking about that shit for six months now. Okay, so anyway, let's keep going. Uh, this one. Delina Exclusive. Um, she's the dark sister. She's more incense -y. She's got that oud. She's lost the uh, rhubarb, so it's not that sharp sourness. She is sexy, gorgeous, dark, 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 dark. She is worth it. She is worth it. Um, next up is this one. I have been hearing about it and hearing about it and hearing about Hi, Rose. Hi, Jackie. You're new. Um, this is Orchidee Vanille by Van Cleef and our, our, you know, the Delina was coming. I mean, it is worth the hype. This is a, such a pretty, I'm hearing way too much stuff behind me. What are y'all doing? Okay, this is a beautiful dry vanilla. And this really is hyped up. You know, people talk about it all the time. This is part of the collection of Extraordinaire. You can really get it at a very, very inexpensive price on FragranceNet. But it's this really dry, not too sweet vanilla. It's got a little cocoa in it, tonka bean. It's just a really pretty florally vanilla. And it is, it is really beautiful on the skin. I really like it. Um, it's very... Um, it's classic and it is um this word I'm looking for what's the word? Um it's not I wouldn't say anything like strike or anything, but it's just a classic scent. You see this, you see what I'm saying? Um it's a classic vanilla, but it isn't so sweet. It's dry and it's just a it has enough sweetness to not be overpowering or cloying so really good really good really good oh i gotta go in this box that they eat over by all right i gotta wash them um thoughts on cinema i don't have cinema so i don't have any thoughts on it. i've been going back and forth on getting it so i can't say anything about it rose honestly okay next up on the hype train is Jasmine Marzipan. Which one? Um, Jasmine Marzipan. Oh, I was thinking about putting it on. I am going to be making some um, some <laughs> some additions to the decant list, and that's going on. I forgot to put it on there, Kate. Honestly, it was supposed to be on there. So this is Jasmine's Marzipan. Um, and, oh, hell no, we're not doing this right now. Where's my, where's my water? Get out of here, both of y'all. 
Come on, look at. Do you not see my coat? My, you see my my. Kali, get down. Okay, so Jasmine's my. Get out of my cup. Get out of my life. Jasmine's. Jasmine's marzipan. This is just the most delectable, beautiful, clear. Oh, I got a cuter one for her. She's getting, she's got a pink one on right now, but I got her one that has stars and moons on it. Oh my goodness. This is just the most beautiful, um, I'm ignoring her, beautiful jasmine. Because it's not that like indolic jasmine. It's just garden fresh jasmine. It is worth the hype. Now, let me say, Everybody talks about the candy. Um, I don't get the marzipan part of it, and I don't care because the jasmine is so good. That's all that matters to me is the jasmine. So there. Uh, what are you? What are you doing? Go on now. Go on over there. Bye. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Next up, let's do a few killings. Let's get, let's just, um, I'm talking to her because she's bothering things. She's getting on my nerves. She's driving me insane. And then she keeps looking at me like, what? 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 What's going on? What's the problem? And she knows what the problem is. She's getting on my last ass nerve. Okay, so here we go. Is this one? Oh, here they go. Okay, so here we go. Let's get Killian. Killian, Good Girl Gone Bad is worth all of the hype. It is just, it's sexy. It is a good girl went bad. She went bad, child. She went on the other side of the tracks and she ain't coming back. Hi, Maria. Right. You know, she ain't coming back when, when you're wearing this good girl gone bad. So there we go. Love, don't be shy. Hey, cousin. This is just a really beautiful gourmand. Um, just really pretty. Just, ooh. You're going to be smelling so good. You're going to be smelling so good. It's just a really pretty, very heavy deep gourmand this is not for the summertime you can play it in the cool days but don't don't let it be too hot because you're gonna kill folks with this one but it is worth the hype it is worth the hype y'all okay so now next up is this one this is alien oh sublime this is the hyped one for the summertime this is like the solar nose it's the, get off of that the citrus nose it's got the it's got the tiari flower it's very it's got the tropical vibe too it's got the white amber this a cashmere so it is a much lighter fresher version of alien and it's better you know i really like the flankers a lot much better so Jesus Christ. sunshine woman sunshine woman oh my god this smells so good at first i said i wasn't loving it i wasn't sure about it but then like i said amouage has a tendency with some of their fragrances either they are like love it for a sniff like love tuberose honor because those are more um what i expect some for fragrances they but when you get into amouage they have um no, we did not. They, they left the room, though. We'll see if they stay away. Um, but it has a complexity to it. It has the osmanthid, right? The osmanthus. It has the leather in it. It has black currant. One thing about Amouage, their complexity, and they really do take you on a journey, on a journey um, with the fragrances. Then... Now, this has been kind of hyped up, you know, um, this season. 
This is Roses Musk by Montal. This is a really, really, really pretty, rosy, musky fragrance. It's not, it's, it really is a beautiful rose musk. Um, right, you know what I'm saying? You know how my house is. The baby to sleep and everything go wild. It's really a pretty musky rose, but it's not too much musk. It just enhances the rose. It is so gorgeous. It is worth a hype that everybody's like, oh my God, this is one of the best roses ever. Now, of course, it's not the best rose ever because we know what, what I got a lot more roses there, but it is good. Y'all know, roses greedy, roses barbaranza, parfait de roses. Okay, y'all know my list. And the last that is worth the hype is Sicily by Mancera. Everybody's been talking about this for the summertime. It's a citrus, it's a very summery. It's very, you know, hey, it's very, hey, 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 we're hanging out in the summertime. It is. The only thing I will say is that the longevity isn't there on me, but baby, when it's on me, it is on me, it's beautiful. Because the citrus is balanced out with the apple and the pineapple, so it's not, it's not just, overbearingly overbearingly citrus which i cannot deal with but it oh it smells so good though it smells like yes i'm out here i'm i'm living my best i am hi lala i am living my best uh tropical you know floridian life you know because this is like this this isn't like tropical island tropical this is florida you know you hanging out on the beaches in Florida, you know, got that Cali. This is like that Cali summer. This is that Florida summer. That's what this is. So this is Sicily. <laughs> All right. So those were worth the hype. Now let's talk about my underhyped list. My underhyped list is kind of long. Um, so let's start here. This one. This is Coach. Coach the fragrance. I think this. One. I think whichever one this is. You gotta look for the one with the brown tag, and it's the 2016 version. Coach. Coach. Okay. This is such a pretty, pretty rose scent, and it's so inexpensive to get. No one talks about it. Why do you all dust it? Um, and I've been wearing it. It's really, and it ha and let me tell you, it projects out and lasts long. It's very long lasting. It projects out. As you can tell, I started using it because I wasn't using it at all. And now I've just started using it. Um, and it's just a really pretty rose. Um, not, let's see. Yeah, it's just a really beautiful, um, no, inexpensive. You can get this thing for around 30 some dollars. This is a no gold fragrance net. This thing is like thirty something dollars. Yeah, maybe forty. No, it's inexpensive. It for real is. Um, so yeah, if you look up, look for it on fragrance net, you gonna get it inexpensive. Um, maybe, well, you know, not as inexpensive as I got it because I got it for free. But it is just a really beautiful rose, rose dominant floral. Thirty seven sixty nine. See, oh about how I okay okay yeah yeah. Yeah, I got it for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a really good one. All right, so let's talk about on the two. This is Alien O Extraordinaire. Everybody's talking about O oh, Sublime, but everybody's forgetting about O oh, Extraordinaire. Now, this is the one alien that does not have any jasmine in it, but it smells similar to holidays. It has a tiari flower. It has a very, really pretty tropical vibe to it. And it lasts, and one thing with these, these are EDTs and they last a lot longer than you think they do. I didn't even know, so I'm starting to use her too. So, you know, um, so people are talking about Oh Sublime, but they're forgetting about Oh Extraordinaire. And Oh Extraordinaire is really pretty because like I said, it, it's pulled away from the jasmine and so it's not as alien, it, it, it's, it, the DNA is not as strong in it. You still get an alien vibe because it has the amber in it, um, things like that. I kind of do like this one over Oh Sublime. Um, 
But like I said, the one that's on the hype train is oh sublime. Everybody talking about oh sublime, oh sublime. Where did I have the match? Oh, down here. I don't even know why I've been keeping up. What the hell? I look, I was trying to move some stuff around. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to be uh, better about putting my things and my my uh, perfumes away. All right, so there's that. Now, of the Maison Lancomes, this is like really underhyped, which is Magnolia Rose. This is a musky magnolia. People don't really we sleep on magnolias. Magnolia uh, driven scents. This is so pretty. It's just this really beautiful musky magnolia. Um, and magnolia has a slight um, lemony vibe to it as a fragrance. So it's got a slight lemony citrusy kind of vibe to it. But it's just a really pretty musky mag. Uh, floral and I do want to get the bigger one eventually you know I'm going to use her up because I've been using her and because it's just and it's one of these type of fragrances it's very it's a very natural smell but it's also one of those easy reach you know how they talk about easy reaches all the time this is one of these things that you could just put on you wouldn't be no one would be offended by it you would smell lovely it's just a lovely fragrance it's just a little flirtatious because it's got that little muskiness to it but it's just something that anybody could wear anybody could have um and it would just be lovely on it's just you know classic magnolia rose like this i'm not gonna i'm not gonna keep going in i'm not gonna keep i'm not, I'm not gonna keep going on and on okay 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 now this one I'm going to talk about. Yeah, we know how I feel about BR540, but I don't think Grand Soir by um, Kirk John gets the play it should. Everybody talks about BR540. Everybody, Back Rouge 540, Back Rouge 540. Back, but Grand Soir is glorious. It is such a rich, vanilla, sweet, amber, it is beautiful it is just it is it's a money fragrance you know like i said it, it just it it just exudes money and just says I'm, I'm rolling i got it like that yeah and i don't smell like everybody and like so mm, i mean it really is i think of those two i like them and because this one actually smells good on my skin but i think that um hi jc i think that that back rouge 540 is getting all the hype but grand soir is just as good or even better okay i put it out there like that i did i put it out there like that all right so now this house in general is not getting no you know what i'm gonna go first here Okay, so let's talk about <laughs> our favorite. You know who our favorite brand is. You know who my favorite brand is. My day was good. You know who my favorite brand is. So we just gonna get some out of the way with this brand. Y'all can all say it with me. Man, Sarah. Woohoo. So I got four we're gonna talk about. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, when I'm talking about them, I'm talking about them in reference to the 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 female side of Fragcom. And just in general, because I'm feminine, a lot of these you don't hear about that much because people, because A, it's mostly men who talk about man, Sarah. And not a lot of women talk about man, Sarah. You know, it's like now we're starting to get into man, Sarah. So let me just let me just give it uh, some that are under hyped but y'all know y'all know it's good let's start here wild cherry wild cherry took me out y'all this is the brightest strongest thank you wild cherry bright cherry that i had oh man oh man Oh man, oh man, oh man. This thing makes me smell. You know what it makes me smell like? Maraschino cherries. It just smells like I'm just like, I have bathed myself in maraschino cherries. I used to love maraschino cherries as a kid. That little jar, I used to want to eat them all up. This, 
It's so, 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 so good. If you are looking for a cherry, I mean, I have a lot of cherries, but this one for bright cherries for that summertime burst of cherry. Wild cherry is it? I'm telling y'all. Okay, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. And then we're going to talk about, this one is my new one. This is Amber Fever. Y'all. This is what I needed back where I five back where I rouge 540 to smell on my skin. This is so and I would like I said I ain't looking for dupes. I just saw it. I was like, ooh, it's kind of cute. So I bought it. Oh, it has a it has a whiskey note in it too. So it's kind of it's got that boozy vibe to it, but it is amber it is sweet it doesn't have that real spicy notes like you know br540 in them has so it doesn't have the saffron but it is this really sweet amber on my skin and it's got that little whiskey note baby by amber fever it, I, listen i was wearing i was like damn i smell good damn i smell good amber fever and I know everybody's talking about, oh, it's just like instant crush with more amber. And you know what? It is. It probably is. But for me, that's better because instant crush lean too masculine on my skin. Whereas amber fever smells so good and so sweet and so. Shh. All right. Musky Garden. Musky Garden. We know. Oh. First off, it's the prettiest. I need man say to do more bottles like this. This bottle is gorgeous. And it, it's just a musky garden. You know, I've, I've, I've talked about it ad nauseum. I will not go deep into it. Y'all want to hear about it, go into the man say collection. You'll hear all about it in there. Because we know I love musky garden. I love musky garden. And you know, and, and remember, this is new, overhyped, and everything. So we're not talking about some older ones that I have, because we know. So we might as well just go and say it. Let's all say it together. Wild, motherfucking python. We know. I've gone on ad nauseum about this one too. I will not bore y'all anymore with my thoughts on wild python. Just know, if you like tuberose, you need to get it. That's all I got today. If you like tuberose, you need to go on and get that wild python. You need to just go on. You need to just get it. You need to just go and throw it in your car. You need to just do what you got to do, but you need to have it. Have it. All right. All right. So next up are these. Um, these are like... Now, I, like I, said, I, I saw a few men talking about these. I'm taking out five of them because the other one I've already talked about before. So I'm just going to talk about these. Okay, so let's talk about these. These are the Banana Republics. Wild Python is always sold out because not everybody wants it. Wild Python. Okay, let's talk Banana Republic and my new love affair obsession with them. These are the Icon Collection. Now remember, these are a little inexpensive. And you cannot go on their website and get some of these. I'm just letting you know. You got to go to Fragrance Net or Fragrance X to get them. But these are part of their Icon Collection. So I'm going to start here with Pure White. Where can you get a good price on Man Sarah? Fragrance Net. Fragrance Buy. Fragrance X is not that great, for, but use, but they might have some in that you can't get other places. But you want to go to Fragrance Net and Fragrance Buy CA. Fragrance Buy CA has the best prices on Mansara. When it's in stock on Fragrance Buy, it's worth getting from them. But you, but you need to buy at least two bottles and then use the um, code to not pay for shipping. And you're in Minnesota, so you get them real quick because you're right on the border. Okay, so this is Banana Republic. 90 pure white this has lavender it has green tea this is a gorgeous fresh clean airy just dazzle it's just 
it's just like that fresh smell and i don't even like fresh stuff like that normally i don't like those whole you know freshy smell like soap and stuff i really don't like those kind but something about this one is just really just really it just really hits it for me and it's really, I'm just, you know, I've been wearing it. It's like, oh, okay, let me just throw this on. It's one of those easy reaches. You can wear it to go to the grocery store and everything. It doesn't last long as I would like it to, but that's okay because it's not that expensive. I just respray it on. Um, but it's a really pretty, really pretty. If you're looking for like a fresh fragrance, this is really good for the summertime. You just want to have something on, like you're going to a picnic or something, and you don't want to have on anything that's going to be too overwhelming, anything like that pure night all right uh, oud mosaic now this is an unexpected dupe for something i just happened to get recently this is a dupe of um oud Isfahan by dior so it's this it's like this um kind of it's like an incense oud um it's not rosy or anything like that, but it's just like this clear oud. And it's just, you'd have to be in the oud to like this one. But it is a really good oud, especially for the price. So it just gives you this like really nice oud fragrance. Um, if you, this is like a good one if you just want to try some oud out and you won't spend that much money. This is one of those good ones to try out. Um, Peony and Peppercorn if you want a peony like like pivion printemps pivot pivion a printemps by um lancome this is kind of similar because it has the peppercorns it has the the peony in it it's very much um a spicy little floral so this is like very nice to have um now let me say the banana republics are more than the zara ones that everybody's talking about but I just gotta be honest with y'all. I'm not gonna buy any Zara fragrances because I just I'm I don't want to have a whole lot of stuff here just to have it, just to be like saying, oh, I've got it and let's talk about it. I really want it to be things that I really am interested in. So if you find out, see things, and you ask me and I don't have it, it's probably because they really didn't interest me. Um, oh, are they? See, there you go. Um, gardenia and cardamom. This is gardenia. And tuberose, it's a really white, it's a really pretty white floral. It's it's kind of niche because it's got that cardamom in it. So it's got a spice to it, but it's not the one you expect. So this is a really nice one to try out for tuberoses. You know, I got a thing for tuberoses. This is a really good tuberose and garden white floral with um, you know, quite a bit of tuberose in it. It's really nice on. I smell sassy. I smell sexy when I wear this one. Now, this is the one that killed me. This is tobacco and tonka bean. If you don't want to buy it outright, I, it is on my decan list. This one, this is pear, it is plum, it is tonka bean, it's vanilla, it's got coconut in it. This is, if you like gourmands, you are going to smell so edible wearing this. You are smelling so edible. Ain't nobody talking about this. This is like, this fall. This is gonna be me fall. Tobacco and tonka bean. If I'm just going and I wanna just be standing around and people talking about, damn, some smell like food. Some smell like some good old food. Some smell like dessert. It's gonna be me. Like I'm gonna be around people, but okay. So there we go. So that is, <laughs> that is, um, all the banana republics and put them back where they go all right now and nobody this house is really slept on i hear about it every once in a while but i only hear it for certain scents like mediterranean honey, honeysuckle maybe hibiscus palm but primarily mediterranean honeysuckle which i don't like however these two right here this is Aaron, the house of Erin Beauty. This is Erin Lauder. This is Estee Lauder's granddaughter. This is her um, brand. And this is Evening Rose. This is a spicy, sexy ass rose. A spicy, sexy ass rose. Now, the thing is, is that's really interesting is because of the, the, the aesthetic of the, her, 
her brand this is really interesting because most of her stuff is kind of light kind of bright but this right here is deep and dark and it is an evening rose it is something to be worn at night it is something that you can be wearing and just being sexy and hot in it boom evening rose mm, she smells good everybody's still here i'm almost done i'm almost done then we have E Cat Jasmine. Mm -mm -mm. This is Jasmine and Tuberose, but it has honeysuckle in it. So it gives this a different scent than I'm used to with them because the honeysuckle gives it this um, more flirtatious, more bright. It's a little brighter. It's, um, Mm. she smells so good y'all i mean like and if you really want to see what i thought just go watch my estee lauder um you saw banana republican ross if you see now make sure like see the thing is there's a couple of different lines in banana republic these are called the icon ones so you want to look for those in particular because those are like the really nice ones the other ones are a little less expensive i haven't tried those yet but this is like the top of the line. This is like they're almost their private label ones. Um, and so this right here, I e cat ja I cat jasmine. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is like a this is another one of these. I yeah, I just fell in love. I fell in love with her. I, I'm not even gonna sit up here in front like I did. I did, I did. Now I forgot to say this one. This is Killian. I'm about to change this one out. This is Killian playing with the devil. Now, everybody talks about good girl gone bad. Love don't be shy. But this one is really good, y'all. This one has this pimento and what's the other spice in here? There's a couple of spices in here. So it's got the spiciness to it. The pimento gives it like a sweet spicy. And it's just like one of those things that grew on me. It wasn't like one of those things that I was just like, oh, yes, I got to have it. Oh, my God, it's so good. No, it was one of those things that grew on me. And it is just, it's got that Killian vibe, though. It, it, it reminds me of Good Girl Gone Bad, similar to that. So it's kind of got that Killian vibe to it. Because I know he uses the same perfumer. I think her name is Khalees Becker. I know he uses her for most of his stuff. And so it's kind of got that Good Girl Gone Bad vibe, but it's got a little twisted different with it. So Playing with the Devil is one. Then, now, I know people talk about this brand, but it hasn't really been talked about, like I said, within like the fem the, the feminine side, the female side of fragrances. I don't hear people talking about this particular brand a lot. Some people have like Beauty Meow and stuff, but she's like that girl. girl. But this is Rosé All Day by Gallagher. I just got this. It has apple crisp, plum, dark rose, brown sugar, tonka bean, and stainless steel. This is another one. This for real smells like, it smells like an apple dessert. It smells like an apple plummy dessert. The rose is in there, and that's on the dry down, but... Man, this just smells good. I mean, it really... It just, it smells like, it, it smells like, you know, you smell like a dessert. Just, I, I like smelling like desserts, though. I really do. I like smelling like desserts. I do. I do. I do. I do. Oh, and I keep forgetting to mention this one. Signorina Rebel. Rebel by uh, Salvatore Ferragamo. Everybody talks about the Elegant Mysterioso and everything. This one came out last year. It is the... Um, spring one it's got coconut in it uh, it's got tiari flower in it it's the more tropical one it doesn't have the best lasting power on me it doesn't last that long but here as much as i the whole set i got a whole set for 30 some dollars with with the travel spray and lotion for 30 some dollars so i can reapply it because i got the travel spray but it's just really pretty it's a very tropical if you're looking for an inexpensive tropical kind of vibe fragrance with a coconut base in it try signorina rebel it'll take you there 
I think I got them all. Was that my whole overhyped, under? Yep, I hit them all. Boom. I got overhyped, worth the hype, and underhyped. So I finished them all. Yay! All right, y'all. So that was it for tonight. I appreciate y'all. I got to go back and start, do some more work, because I got to uh, really get ready for teach on Monday. So school just let out, and I'm back teaching. But that's all right, because that's some extra money in my pocket. Booyah! It's going to pay. Booyah! It's going to buy me a new desk. A few things for the house. It's going to be my house, my house money. Yes. All right. So, anyway, I know y'all didn't want to know that. I know a lot of y'all like, so am. I didn't care. Okay. I, I hear you. I received that from you. I just had to share. Okay. Thank y'all for hanging out. Thank y'all for hanging out. And it is amazing, Coco. All right. Thank y'all for hanging out. I had a great time. Y'all have a great Saturday night. Don't get in any trouble. All that other good stuff. Good night, good night, good night.